Let's talk about credit and finance. Credit and finance can be complicated topics, but they are essential for managing our financial lives. In this video, we will discuss the basics of credit and finance. Credit is the ability to borrow money from a lender or creditor with the promise to pay it back with interest over time. When you apply for credit, the lender will evaluate your creditworthiness, which is a measure of how likely you are to repay the loan based on your past financial behavior. This evaluation results in a credit score, which ranges from 300 to 850, with a higher score indicating better creditworthiness. Your credit score is determined by several factors, including your payment history at 35%. There's also the amount of debt you owe at 30%, the length of your credit history at 15%, the types of credit you have at 10%, and any new credit inquiries at another 10%. You may have noticed payment history is the most crucial factor, accounting for 35% of your credit score. Therefore, it is essential to pay your bills on time to maintain a good credit score. Most people need credit because they cannot afford to pay for significant expenses, such as a car, college tuition, or a house, up front. Credit allows people to make these purchases over time and pay them off in manageable installments, often with interest. Credit works by lenders giving borrowers a line of credit with a set credit limit. Borrowers can use this credit limit to make purchases or withdraw cash advances. Each month, the borrower receives a statement detailing their account activity and the minimum payment due. Interest accrues on the balance, and if the borrower only makes the minimum payment, the interest will continue to accrue, making it challenging to pay off the debt. Credit scores reward continuous spending because they want to see that you are a responsible borrower who can manage credit responsibly. However, they may seemingly punish other behaviors such as paying off a credit card and not using it for long periods of time. In these cases, lenders may see a lack of credit activity and may assume that the borrower is not actively managing their credit or is not using credit responsibly. As a borrower, you have rights when it comes to credit. The Fair Credit Reporting Act and the Equal Credit Opportunity Act govern your rights and prohibit discrimination based on race, gender, age, or religion. These laws also ensure that consumers have access to their credit reports and can dispute any inaccuracies. Having good credit can save you money in the long run. People with good credit scores typically receive lower interest rates, lower insurance premiums, and lower monthly payments on loans and credit cards than those with poor credit scores. For example, let's say two people want to buy a car, and the car costs $20,000. Person A has excellent credit and receives a 3% interest rate, while Person B has poor credit and receives a 7% interest rate. Person A's monthly payment would be $362, while Person B's monthly payment would be $415. Over the life of the loan, Person A would pay $1,317 less in interest than Person B. To build good credit, there are several effective methods you can use. These include paying bills on time, keeping credit card balances low, having a mix of credit types, and limiting credit inquiries. Additionally, you should check your credit report regularly and dispute any errors or inaccuracies. Building business credit is slightly different and can be achieved by opening a business credit card, registering your business with credit bureaus, establishing trade lines with suppliers and vendors, and paying your bills on time. Check out our video for more information on this topic. If you have made errors and damaged your credit, there are several cost-free methods to repair your credit, including paying off debt, disputing inaccuracies on your credit report, and negotiating with creditors for a payment plan. However, repairing your credit can take time. You can also see our video on this topic for help. Regardless of your situation, maintaining a positive credit rating is or will become important for you, so start building it now so it's ready when you need it. Thanks for sticking around until the end. If you enjoyed this video podcast, please like and subscribe or consider helping us grow and be ad-free by visiting us at Patreon or Buy Me a Coffee. You can find the links in the description below. Thank you for watching. Let's talk about credit and finance.